Well, some All Black fans are willing to do just about anything to make sure we win the World Cup. A website has asked for Carl Heyman to grow his beard back for the cause. Emma Keeling decided to investigate the hairy issue. A beardy weirdy or an uber All Black? Even Carl Heyman's teammates can't decide where the prop's power comes from. He's a strong man with that in his beard, but uh, I guess that's his, I guess you might say that this spring. Nah, he looks better like, without it, mate, so uh, too hairy anyway, mate. He's a different person. He's a caveman when he's like that. The beard, a thing of power, something to be feared. A refuge for food or a woolly World Cup winning secret? Heyman's recent decision to shave has some rugby bloggers in a flap. Apparently it's the most powerful All Black weapon since Pine Tree Stare. He was following the tradition of other All Blacks like Billy Bush in the 70s, a look not easily cultivated. I've tried it, but I get, I get a little bit patchy, eh? so uh, no, I wouldn't, wouldn't go down that line again, I think. It starts to hurt a bit and little pimples and bumps start to come up, but... Uh... Uh, maybe the old moan might come up, uh, I'm not sure apart from that. The moustache has been a popular accessory in rugby teams and dodgy porn films around the world. But who wins when one faces the other? That all depends on whose follicles you fancy. Goran Ivanisevic beat out the fuller furry face of Pat Rafter at Wimbledon. Would Gandalf have been as wise with less? And would NHL teams ruin their chance of victory if they shaved during the Stanley Cup finals? As usual, the boys are missing the point. What about the women? No, the girls don't like it. <laughs> Not at all. No, I can't say. I've had much, much luck with it on at the moment. Kiwi rep Scott Talbot Cameron and Kieran Daly were trying to shave a whisker off their times by not shaving before events. And it seems Carl's girlfriend should prepare for the pash rash to return. And I'm sure he's going to uh, bring it back. Well, I suppose we must all make sacrifices for the ultimate prize.